The Oxford English Dictionary states the EQ to be the capacity to be aware of, control and express one's emotions and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. To gain a better understanding, it can be split into two large umbrella categories, self and social. Self is the awareness and manipulation of your own emotions, whereas social is the ability to comprehend someone else's emotions, the root of these, and then react accordingly. From there, each of these terms can be broken down into three further categories. Competence, this governs the awareness and management of emotions. In a social sense, this is the factor that leads to improved quality of relationships. Awareness. Are you able to accurately perceive emotions and understand the root of them? And then management. The ability to use said awareness to manage interactions successfully. Or for self, the ability to positively direct your behaviour. So physically, what goes on when you engage emotional intelligence? EQ is the communication between your emotional and rational brains. Primary senses must travel to the front of your brain before you are able to think rationally about your experience. However, they first travel through your limbic system, where emotions are generated. This gives an emotional reaction to events before our rationality is triggered. A high level of EQ requires effective communication between these rational and emotional centres of the brain, decreasing the time that you aren't rational. Let's see the skill in practice with some of our case studies by our trained actors. Hi Steve, what do you think you can bring to our business? This business will greatly improve with my input. I will get my tasks done quickly and efficiently and to the best of my ability. I feel that being in this business, my knowledge and my skills can be taken further, increasing my abilities as an engineer. I know you have a very strong, independent ability, but are you happy, are you happy working with, uh, with the team? Uh, I, I don't need to work with a team. Like, I'm pretty confident I can get the job done by myself. Mm, okay. And why are, why are you passionate about engineering? I'm passionate about engineering as I am brilliant with numbers and don't make mistakes. The facts show that I am a good engineer because I have a 6.9 GPA. Mm -hmm. In all of the group design projects, I did most of the work because I understand everything. Can you solve an explained problem on board? <laughs> sure. Super duper easy. diagram such as this. So we've got the five kilonewtons on this side bringing it up, 
no more shear forces on length, and we're going to bring it back down to zero on this side. This will result in a bending moment diagram such as this, where we're going to have the 5 times the 10 is going to create 50 kilonewton meters, and this would be the max, max moment experienced by the beam. So our boss has given us this residential assignment to do. Basically, we have to design it from scratch. We have to start from the roof and work our way down. I've been interested in green roof design lately. Do you reckon we could incorporate it into our design? I think green roof design is pretty interesting, but we'd probably need something a bit more practical. Maybe something like a rooftop garden would be like more appealing for like the client's demands. So. Yeah, is everyone okay? Yep. So are we going to are we going to be using reinforced called concrete or steel? We can design for both and see like which material would probably be more like efficient, more cost effective, and then like we can make a decision from there on which one we think we should go with. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, as you know, I'm a real eco friendly and I've noticed that mud bricks have been used in a large scale from the walls. So I think I suggest that we can incorporate this. Yeah, we could probably use mud bricks not as like a structural like element component of the building, but more, maybe more as like a decorative, maybe use it as like a veneer masonry for the walls of the building. So that'd probably like cut out like artificial bricks and make it more like eco-friendly. Okay. okay guys, we have a residential project that um, needs to be done. I've already come up with like a timeline of when things need to be done by and I've already set everyone's tasks of what is required to do. Yeah. All right. Do you know if we're going to be using um, reinforced concrete or we're going to be using steel? Uh, I think reinforced concrete is the way to go. I personally believe it is the better material to use and I've already done some previous calculations and I've found that it's the safer option. Okay. Uh, and what do you think about the mud bricks? Because I've done some studies and I think that's going to be really good if you incorporate this in the project. Mm, no, I think it would be better if we just stick to traditional masonry. I think um, it would be more appealing for like customers 
and gain like more attraction and it would look more modern in design as well. Uh, but have some studies prove that's better if you use this in the project? No, nah, I think sticking to traditional masonry is better. Okay. I think, yeah, my own personal opinion. IQ is revered to be the test of true intelligence. Popular belief is that this quality is the most useful to obtain a job. However, when tested, it was found that people with average EQs outperform those with the highest IQs of 70% of the time. This is all down to their EQ level. This success rate isn't narrow. It was found to be true across a number of professions. On average, 90% of top performers are high in emotional intelligence. It also follows that these people make more money. A recent study found that ad it added an average of $29,000 more per year. But don't worry if you don't have a high EQ at the moment. It can be improved. Think back to the physical source of EQ, that connection in the brain. A term to enhance this connection is plasticity, the brain's ability to change. If you train your brain by repeatedly using new EQ strategies, it becomes a basic behavioural habit. Some of these are listed on the screen now. So essentially, if you go on out there and talk to some new people, it just might help you to become a next CEO.